so for my college experience, um, I wanted to, I fully went into college being like, hey, I want to play pro afterwards, I want to improve, I want to show people that you can do both. Um, and so I still played as an amateur in professional tournaments just for a ranking. So by the time I graduated, I was ranked 10 in the world. And so that kind of gave me the boost. I got to miss, I got to skip that first year of having to dog it out in um, small tournaments all over the world. I, I did that when I was 16, 17, when, yeah, when my ranking was at that um, stage. And, but once I did graduate, it was like, hey, I have all of this time on my hands. Um, so it was trying to manage my schedule a bit better. Um, I'm also in the same boat with Liv of like surrounding yourself with a really strong team of people that you trust and be believe in you. So I based myself in Boston with my former coach, Thierry Linku. So I was there and I had my fitness coach, my physio, I had a sports psychologist, and that was kind of my core team of people to help me out. But then it was it was all kind of a learning learning experience each season. It was understanding how many tournaments can I handle in a row before it's too much for me mentally, um, or being on the road too much. It's not all about hey you have time like just kill yourself in physical like training. Um, and managing my training load and being a bit more intellectual with how I'm training, the warm up, the cool down, the prehab, the rehab, all of that is essential. Kind of, you know, it's easy to put in five hours, four hours of training a day or five hours of training a day, but it's what do you do the rest of the day that's going to help you improve and be a better professional, which, um, you know, I learned the hard way with, I ruptured my Achilles in 2017 and I was sidelined for 10 months. And that taught me a lot about, you know, one, don't take the sport for granted because at any given moment in time, it can vanish like that. And also, you know, your body is a temple and you need to take care of it because you only have one body. And that's like, I, I have to, I have to take care of it and keep it healthy if I want to do well and succeed on tour. So it taught me a lot on how to take care of myself a little bit better. It made me a lot more mindful about the choices that I'm making, the training that I'm doing. And so I just feel like even, even now, like I'm still learning. Um, and I, I think that's awesome because I've been doing this for so long and the fact that I can still trial and error and now I know like what works, what doesn't, but the fact that I can still learn after playing this sport, gosh, for 17 years is, is amazing. And it like keeps me excited and want to keep going.